Uh, this is a weird, weird intro. Uh, um, so the vlog this week, I filmed most of it, like, I don't even know when, like, four or five days ago. I haven't filmed anything for the vlog in, like, four, four, like, four or five days. Um, but I put out a hundredth video, so you should check that out, the hundredth video that I've published. Um, I would like to give away that piece of art, so if you comment somewhere on a video telling me that you want it, then, um, <laughs> the very few of you that probably will do that, uh, then, then I'll, like, throw some names into a hat and pick one out, and you can, uh, have a painting for free. So do that. Um, do it. Watch that video. It's a behind-the-curtain video. It's in that playlist. It says, like, 100th video or something. Oh, Come more. Stop, look. stop, stop. Damn it. There might be even more. They there might just like... I don't, I don't see anything. You're good. so... Jeez. <laughs> it's so camouflage. Yeah. Well, I was so focused on that first one, I was just like wa watching it, and then you were like, what, but there's more, and I was like, where? <laughs> right in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> so much deer on the west side. I have received a bag of Easter candies, and this, uh, this thing that I punch, smack the pack, poof like a whoopee cushion and something happens so oh shit that scared me fuck okay that's not what i thought was supposed to happen <laughs> is it gonna happen again it's still like doing stuff with air Well, now I know that it has potential to explode in my face. That's cool. It's still filling up. I don't know if it's going to stop. Man, I should have just had the camera pointed so it could see me, but... Whatever. Lessons for next time that I plan on... I didn't know I was going to get scared! I don't hear anything anymore, but that's cute, other than scaring the shit out of me. Smack the pack, poof, watch and wait. See the surprise. Balloon inflates before your eyes. They even rhymed. So the balloon's supposed to inflate. It doesn't say the balloon scares the shit out of you and, like, pops open like a bat out of hell. I don't even know. Okay, cool. Um... <laughs> My heart still works. Good. Got some good. So, <clears throat> it is May 2019. Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada has finally rolled out some blue bins <laughs> for recycling purposes. Because I didn't have any before. to recycle before you had to go out to a location uh, and uh, do it there. Which I mean, it's fine. Well, this is obviously way more convenient so way more people will take advantage of it. Uh, especially like what if you don't have a car and you're gonna bust with your recyclables just to be environmentally conscious. If you want to call it that, probably not. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. We finally got blue bins today. Uh, 2019 Lethbridge, recycling, wow. You know what I think would be tight? Is to get pulled over by a cop speeding on a bike. That'd be sick. I mean, it would only ever happen in a school zone <laughs> for me, and I'd probably have to be a, a school zone on a hill, or at the bottom of one, I should say. <laughs> 
if I can get that 30k. Not an off-leash park. What's that? Not an off-leash park. None of this is. I do, and it's a problem. Not sure why people want to argue. There's signs posted, actually about 20 meters from where he's standing. He'll get to it on that path. I often refrain from saying things out loud. I'm so sick of it though. It has been a problem before. People walking with their dogs off leash on bike trails. Sometimes that isn't specifically a bike trail. But on sections of six mile, it's happened. In fact, two dogs off leash, different owners got into a fight right in front of me and I couldn't pass and it's a single track like on K2 on that like steep descent down into that trail system we went for a six mile and violet tendency down K2 someone was coming up with their dog nipping at my heels as I'm trying to go down steady and it was just like coming up and then started kind of not nipping at my heels as in like ferociously or aggressively it was excited and it was friendly but that's a problem too i'm trying to like concentrate and not die on the edge of a cliff and there's some dog you know it's just one thing that like i really really learned or i'm learning but early on it was like man biking is the best it's the bomb. It like gives me so much peace and quiet, mindfulness, strength, time for reflection. It's just like the best thing. And then I'd go out. I started to just go out more and more and be like, man, what the heck? Get off the trail. Why is your dog off leash? It would completely ruin my whole ride. Um, and I found that like, you know, it happens, I would say, 50% of the time at the least at least 50% of the time I go out on a trail on a bike trail uh, and then I guess sections like that that are just like walking paths and biking and there are signs posted on those paths that say you know put your dog on a leash and uh, people just I just don't understand like this goes back to this rant um, I'll like put it up here, a little link to it right now. But uh, it goes back to this rant about like, why, why do you have laws that you don't enforce? And this is one of them where it's like, if your dog's off leash, or if you're like not picking up after your dog, you would, you would uh, at most face, like what is it? Like a $10 ticket or something? I don't even know. But like, it is a city bylaw for a reason. And, you know, it's just, uh, maybe I'll do that when I get home. I don't know. I'm such a crotchety old man, curmudgeon. The people always, like, they get upset at me for getting upset at people who break the law. Like, I jaywalk all the time, but I never make a car wait for me. I jaywalk when I'm not disrupting the flow of traffic at all. Am I still breaking the law? Yeah, I am. I'm not inconveniencing anybody by doing it. This dog thing is dangerous. It's not cool. Animal is unpredictable. Even your child is unpredictable, you know what I mean? Like, like, you can only control yourself. You might have the best behaved dog in the world. Something might set it off, you don't know. But either way, like I said, it's, uh, it's also a matter of they're nice and friendly and want to play, and I'm trying to not die. I'm trying to bike. I'm trying to not have to deal with that. That's the whole point of getting out into the coolies is not having to deal with stupid people. Well, stupid people are the majority. So I don't know, but like, anyway, yeah. I found that if I ignore it and I don't say anything, 
out loud. Like, I don't really like confrontation, honestly. I don't. Because it never ends. Because someone wants to argue about something that there's no arguing about. Like, I wasn't going to get off my bike and argue with that guy. And he, like, turned around and stopped and everything. And it was like, no, dude. Like, like I should have said more. But, you know, if I call the cops and I'm like, hey, how, how would you enforce this in the future? The only thing I could imagine is I would have to stay with that guy, follow him, and wait for police to come and give him a ticket. And the chances of that are so slim. So slim. And it's not like he's got a license plate where I can just hand over this footage to the cops and be like, yo, this guy clearly broke the law. Here it is. So there's no deterrent for that kind of behavior until it's too late. Either the dogs fight each other and they don't want that, right? So it's too late because of that. Um, and that's the only way they learn a lesson. Or, you know, the dog bites somebody. Or they're, you know, like, they're, the law is there for a reason. There needs to be a way to actually enforce it and there needs to be a deterrent because people are shitty and uh, apparently need a deterrent, like a fine or something, to not keep doing things. Like, part of me thinks, like, hey, you know, like, two rides ago, it happened twice where there's people, you know, off-leash with their dog. This is not an off-leash park. We have designated off-leash parks. Take your dog there or don't bring your dog or keep it on a leash. Those are your options. That's it. Argument's over. You know, but there were two last, like two rides ago, there was two. I didn't say anything for either of them. And then so it like dissipated and I, I wasn't as angry and I kind of got over it, but I don't know. It's just like, if I don't say anything, I feel bad. If I do say something, I feel bad. Like it's a negative experience for me either way. I don't know what's going to make it any better other than like having someone get a ticket, you know? That would make it better, see some real consequences. But again, it's not gonna happen. I'd like to call the police or city hall about that and see like, you know, how does this actually get enforced? How does that work? Because I'm sick of it, but it, whatever. No matter what I do, I just get upset. Cool, rant over. In their grief and agreement, the surviving adult males and non-nursing females set out at once toward their own pond intent on evicting the intruders. They were led by Whiteford herself, who was enraged by the usurpers. She had heard stories of Strong Dan's leadership previously and so always presumed her to be as mature and not. Oh, this sounds like I mean, it'd be prettier when there's been more rain and sun and season change, but this is nice. Life is in full swing. Ow. Life bit me. Scorpions? Do we actually have scorpions here? Oh, yeah. What? I didn't know that. I have yet to even see a snake. What is that thing called? Because I've heard about that before. Water tower. Oh, okay. This is a burned out water tower. Ooh, that's pretty. Is that beautiful weed? I saw purple flowers. Uh, there's someone six mile and violet tendency. I thought violet tendency would be much more flowery with that name. But then again, someone spelled tendency wrong too, so I wonder if they meant to say violent. violent. Yeah, I was like, oh, I expect purple flowers. And there was, a, there was a couple of them. Yeah. So I don't know if it was just like a play on, like if it was a clever play, or if they just forgot the end. Because like I said, tendency was spelled wrong too, so. Anyway. There's so much learning here that I don't care about. But it's pretty. 
we found treasure. <coughs> a little flag and the pockets Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. In nature park. Treasure. For me. Okay. It looks like there's a little piece of paper sticking out. out. I want to know. Oh, it's a receipt. It's a receipt. I was hoping for like an $82 from Club Cigar. Alright. Anyway. I was hoping for like a little like inspirational message or something. But it's a receipt. I'm gonna just tuck that right back in there. Cool. That was lame. This is Northwoods River Run. And there was, I think it was the first or second raw ride I ever recorded. I came down here. I'm just coming to look at this beautiful vandalism. Classic. Classic. But this is a young man. This is a fish vomiting. Fish vomit. Stay chill, dope deal. Oh, stay chill in dope deal? Should it be like in deal dope? Maybe? Vibrate low? Well, there's some positivity here. Yeah. I, I like that they censored it. Like, that's that's nice. It was very considerate. And in the same color, all you need is love. I'm just straight up trolling. Oh, I'm their sunshine. Mm. Life, guns, and butter. Hell yeah. Dope is dope. I have to, like, do that on my bike, and it's... Oh, it always concerns me, but, well, you don't have to do much. Do little. Shut up. <laughs> well, that's ominous. This is how horror movies start. What is it? What is, do you, what is that called again? Hieroglyphics. Or runes? Or, yeah. I don't remember which one. Oh, there's more right there. People walking to hell. What? Welcome at. I think it's supposed to be a cross. Oh, welcome. No, it's welcome at. Welcome at. To hail. Oh, this is actually this is actually good. It's so good I can't even read it. it ends with a K. I s Mac. Four oh three. That's lame. But the other part wasn't that bad. Hmm. Interesting. Has it. I like this sad face. He's got a spike in his head, so I'd be sad too. <laughs> Why, Mom? Why? Why'd you do this to me, Mom? I should take a closer look at this stuff more often. It's fun. <laughs> uh, I feel like this vlog might be confusing in a way because uh, you've, if you've watched the conversation... Uh, for this week about sitting in sadness then like you're watching this vlog after that and everything in the vlog is before that before I like had so much like overwhelming stuff happen this week um, so uh, there's no like mention of that stuff in the vlog really other than this like outro and it, I don't know it's just weird because like the vlog is like the last video the vlog like book like like is a marker for the end of that cycle for that week so, like, anything I publish that's, like, this is week 15, like, or whatever, the vlog is the last thing of that week, and then the videos start again for whatever they are, conversations, two-cent rants, whatever. And, uh, yeah, at, at least for the most part, that's how it works anyway. So, I don't know. The timing is weird. Um, I don't address <laughs> the, the stuff I was feeling in the vlog because I wasn't feeling it when I was recording the vlog. It happened, like, right after. Uh, I don't know why I'm bringing that up, but, hey... Uh, thanks for doing the, the thing. See, see you on another time. That's what I was supposed to say. See you on another time. <laughs>